Hi my jolly people. I love watching the Olympics. I love watching all the sport events. I love watching the weightlifters. That's my favourite. What do you love watching? My sister, she loves watching the swimming. And my brother, my brother, he loves watching the running. You can see Chong and Mark, they're friends and they play every day. Chong goes to Mark's house every single day. They play a game called table tennis and they use ping pong balls. You can see on the table right over here, there are two ping pong balls. They play other games. They play a game called quoits. Have a look on the floor. There are two rings, actually there are three, that they play quoits with. And they throw the rings to try and get it on that bar. Chong and Mark love what I love to see, the weightlifters. And it was time for that event to be shown on the TV. So they took their long bar to pretend that they were a weightlifter and they put it on the ground. And as they lifted it up, they took a deep breath into their lungs and they lifted that bar up above their head. And as they did, they pretended that they were that weightlifter. Mm, as they lifted that bar up above their head and then they dropped the bar clang it bounced onto the ground and made that sound they got ready and lifted it up again they took that long stick pretending it was that bar and mm, do you think you can do it with me let's stand up I need you standing for this. Are we ready? Let's take our long stick, our long bar, put it on the ground. Okay, are we ready? And we're going to lift it. And as we lift it up above our heads, take a deep breath into your lungs. And then don't forget, let's say, mm, just like them. Are we ready? Go. Mm. Let's do it again. You ready? Well done. Now, Chong and Mark, they were so happy to be just like that weightlifter that they could see on their TV. They were so happy that they started singing. Ready? Let's, let's get our, our bar and let's listen to them sing their song. You have a go with me. Are you still standing? You ready? Let's get that bar. Let's lift it up above our heads. If you're strong and you know it, say ooh. If you're strong and you know it, say ooh. If you're strong and you know it and you really want to show it. If you're strong and you know it, say ooh. Good job. Now, let's have a look. When I'm trying to write the mm sound, oh, I need two letters. I've got the N letter and I've got the G letter. They're friends. And when they are together, they can make the same sound that Chong and Mark made as they lifted that bar above their heads. Mm. Let's have a look at how we write it. I know you know how to write the N and the G, but this time they've got to go together. Watching that pencil, that pencil goes down and it goes backwards, does the bunny hop. Now the G letter, starting at the top, coming around, up and straight down, doing the tail. Watch it again. You ready? 
Watch that pencil down and reversing around and the G up and straight down doing that tail. Let's have a go. Two fingers up in the air. Remember, which one do we start with first? The G? No, we start with the N. Good job. Down and up and around. Now the G. Get ready. Up on the top. Coming around. Doing that caterpillar curl. Up and straight down doing that tail. Let's do one more. We ready? Two fingers up in the air to do our air writing. Go. Down and straight up and over. Now our G letter top. Coming around. Straight up and straight down to the tail. Well done. All right, let's go back to that picture. I'm thinking of a word that I know that I can see on this page. And I wonder if you can work it out. Are you ready? I'm just going to use my actions. No sound. And I want you to think by pushing those sounds together. Blend those sounds together to tell me what word I am thinking of. Okay, you ready? What word did I make? I'm going to do it again. Have you worked it out? I did, I made the word ring. Well done. All right, are we ready? I'm thinking of that word ring. I'm going to do something a little bit different today because now I'm thinking of changing a sound to make a new word. Now, if I've got the word ring, let me see, I've got the word ring. I'm going to change the r. So I'm going to take the r away and I'm going to add s. I wonder what I've got now. I'll do that again. Ring. I don't want ring anymore. I'm going to take er away. So I've got ing left here. And now I'm going to put s. What have I got? S. What have I got? Sing. Good job. Well done. Now let's go back to ring. Help me make the word ring because I've got my letter cubes here. Let's see if you can help me. Okay, we ready? So we're going back to ring. Tell me the sounds you hear in ring. Do it with me. R, E, M. So I need a R. Let's have a look. Here's my R. R, what do I need next? R, E. There it is. E. Mm. Here's my word that says ring. Now you helped me change ring into sing. Mm. What do I need to change from ring to make it into sing? Yeah, you remembered. We took the er away. So I need to take my er away. And what went in its place. Ring. Sing. Oh, yes, it's the s. So I've got the word sing. I've made from ring, I made it into sing. Okay, now I want you to help me. I've got sing. I don't want sing. I'm going to make it into another word. I want song. Mm, s -i -m. I want song. S -o -m. What sound has to change? I've got sing. S -i -m. But I want song. S -o -m. Yes. 
I need to change the E. So I'm going to take that away. I want to now remember, make it into song. So what sound has to come in? Yes, it's the O. Oh. So the E has changed into O. Oh. Has been replaced by O. Oh. So now I've got the word S. O. Oh. Mm. Song. So I've changed ring into sing and sing into song. I wonder if you can change song into something else by changing one of those sounds. Off you go. Go and have a go. Until next time. Bye.